In this video, I'll show you how to use Goldie 21 to scan large utilities. We'll be scanning three different objects with different diameters and at different depths. Since none of the objects are deeper than two meters, I'll be using a 250 megahertz antenna for this demonstration. The first target is a drainage pipe going under a dirt road at a very shallow depth. The first thing to do is to adjust the gain of the signal so we get nice data without clipping or too much noise. I'll be using gain and stack for this, nothing else. As you can see here, the data is clipping and will be unusable for all purposes. Click on the blue dots and drag in order to adjust the amount of gain. Do the same with all the gain points. Let's do now a quick test run so we can see everything is working as it should. The data looks nice and there are no saturations on the data. Now I can proceed to collect the data. Since this is an utility scan, then I'll need to go over the same presumed utility several times in different places and get consistent results in different places. If the data on the screen doesn't show consistent results, then that means it is not an utility, what we are seeing on the screen, but something else. I'm going to scan back and forth and marking on the screen the locations of the suspected utility. For this to be located with any degree of accuracy, I should be able to see the same pattern on the data every time I go over the utility. As you can see, this shallow pipe is an easy target for this scan and we can find it without much effort. The next utility is a larger pipe at greater depth. Here the soil is a bit moist and the signal is not as clear as in the first example. I'll adjust the gain to accommodate for the changes in the soil conditions. In any case, I'll need to do the same routine and go over the utility several times until I can clearly identify it on several passes.
The third and final utility for this demo is a large metal pipe under a road. I'll scan the area at a somewhat fast speed and see what can I find. After that, I'll be doing the same scanning adjusting my pace so I can see if a better data can be collected. By walking slower, we get more traces over the same target. This simplifies the task of identifying the target. Keep in mind though that if one walks too slow, then the target utilities start to look like layers and not like utilities anymore.
Finally, after choosing my pace, the gain settings, and the amount of traces per second, I get clear results on identifying the large utility. This example shows that sometimes the utility that may look easier to detect can take longer time to set up the scanner to get consistent results. In normal scan situation, the operator doesn't know what's under the ground. For that reason, it is important to get started by just going over the area of investigation and try to find targets of interest. Once those targets have been identified, it is time to start setting up the unit and finding out the best adjustments for this particular area. There are no silver bullets for a ground-penetrating radar survey. Every soil is different and conditions vary wildly from place to place. Setting up the radar correctly is of utmost importance and can make a huge difference in finding what you need or not. This takes time and patience. Some areas can be scanned with very good results and some others cannot. But that's for another video. Thank you for watching and good luck with your surveys.